Do you find that the simpler the beat is, the more sales you get? Yeah, definitely. Peace, what's going down? It's DJ Payne One, live in the spot with Tundra Beats, who's apparently a newer producer on the scene, who's making a lot of waves in terms of his business strategies, in terms of his sales. And so I think that his experiences and wisdom will be especially helpful to the producer community. What's going down, sir? Hey, man. Thank, thanks again for doing this. We know each other because um, you're a member of me and Kato's uh, beat club over at musicentrepreneurclub.com. Uh, so this is a, a super special interview for me because um, I've seen your rise over the last, uh, you know, nine to 12 months. So uh, first of all, how long have you been making beats uh, period and then how long have you been making beats for a living so um i've been making beats for like um four or five years now in the beginning uh, i just started out having fun with, with some friends and then after a while uh like i really started to enjoy it and i wanted to take it serious and th then i saw uh, the potential potential with youtube and so many people on youtube and i was like yeah uh let, let's try it so um like two years ago uh two and a half years ago actually i started out with um uploading beats to to youtube and then how long have you been making beats as your as your main job uh after i finished school in germany uh it, uh it's a thing that the, the students they just go away for a year to to, 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 to to just to travel and i and i was like nah man i don't want to travel i, I want to make beats and then i had a little um and, and so I arranged it that i can make beats and it uh so i didn't make money off it but it was like my full-time job for like now one and a half years Okay, and you're still just making beats, no, no other source of income. I'm, I'm just, I'm just making beats here. Uh, uh, I, I had a part-time job uh, uh, next to that, but but I could stop that like half, um, a uh, half year into it. So like around that time last year. Okay, so it's it's only it hasn't even been a full year since you've made all of your money off of beats. Yeah. Okay, so this is brand new. This is great. Okay, so I'm checking your YouTube page. <laughs> And it looks like you started uploading um, beat videos, like you said, about two, two and a half years ago, and then you you stopped for a while, and then you you picked back up. What happened at that point? In the beginning, when I started out, uh, I just felt they are not are not uh, good enough. I uploaded some, but I deleted a lot of them because I just feel like the quality was bad. I had no idea what mixing was. Um, I had no idea really what I was doing uh, because uh, back then we, there weren't so many tutorials like. Nowadays, we have there are so many uh, yeah. people, amazing tutorials, and you can learn so many things. But back then, we had like busy work beats and some other dudes, so I just had to figure it out. And yeah, shout out to Busy Works. Shout out to Busy Work Beats. I, I spent a lot of money on these courses back then. He did an amazing job. <laughs> so shortly after that initial phase of uploading to your channel, um, it, it, a bunch, a couple of your beats went viral, uh, including. A little Pete and Brand Brendan Savage type beat, and then a Russ type beat. Why yeah. do you think those beats became so popular? I wish I knew so I could make uh, every beat like that, um, but I think it was um, uh, the samples that that I use that, that I use for the beats are like I think they're they're very amazing. They have a good emotion in them, and uh, I kept them simple. Just, those were some of the first beats that I really started to keep simple, not overdoing them, not having too many melodies, not having so much on the top and just leaving space. Like when you listen to them, there's uh, usually just a guitar, some uh, some bass uh, and the basic drums. That's a good point. Do you find that you're, that the simpler the beat is, the more sales you get? Yeah, definitely. And, and the, the simpler the beat is like uh, for, for me, because I, I make a very emotional beats. Like they, they they have to trigger something when when I make them, and when there's like a basic chord progression that uh, that, that does the work plus uh, a nice melody on top with some like simple drums uh, like I I don't know overdo the drums like all the stuff sure, yeah um then then it gets uh for for me personally the most traction so this, this, for me personally I would say yeah the, the simpler the beat the the more sales and uh, views. Yeah, that's been an ongoing conversation, and I know um, Dream Life and I talked about that. Cato and I have talked about that a lot on on Beat Club, and then with my interview with Bubba Got Beats, and um, that was also touched on, especially with the success of the 
the Ten Toes Challenge. So about 11 months ago, it looks like your plays became pretty consistently solid. And you're getting around, let's say, 30,000 um, views per beat on average. I mean, some of them jumped up to the, you know, six, seven uh, figure range. Yeah. And, you know, somewhere maybe around the, the, the 10,000 range, but on average, they're, they're doing pretty well. What led to that consistent engagement? I think oh, one of the things was like, uh, with YouTube is, is like that when one beat starts to blow up, it, uh, it, it usually picks the other ones uh, up as well. They, uh, they start to get recommended to the people and more people see them. And I think for me, like I upload beats almost every day. Like I, I upload as much as I can, and just just the consistency. Um, when someone comments, I always uh, tries to answer every comment, uh, engage with the people, and I think just that uh, together with the YouTube algorithm really helped it a lot. So, what what are some other algorithm tricks? Algorithm tricks, man. Right now, I I, I really don't know um, because the algorithm. I feel like it has changed. Lately, yeah. because I see a lot of producers, the, the views have have dropped in the beginning. Like yeah. when you up, right now uploading a beat, um, I, I've I've even got some messages from some of my friends, like they don't get not notific notifications for the beats and everything. Um, but in the end, like it's it's just less views uh, and some algorithm tricks. Be be consistent. I think that's if YouTube really sees that you are consistently uploading and really doing it um you don't, don't have to upload daily but as much as you can i think that's a great trick so uh what happened with this i don't forget beat that you uploaded last june it's at nearly three million views um what factors led to that viral success three million is a lot i, I wish i would I knew what, what led to the success because uh, when, when I made the beat, I was uh, I was in a very, very big rush. I, I had to go, um, but I still needed to upload a beat today. So um, I just made everything very fast. Like when you watch the video, uh, I didn't even loop the, uh, the the gift to the end. It's just black screen, and I uploaded it. And um, on on the next day, I got like three not uh, notifications from people who wanted the exclusive rights and they offered me like $1,000 or $500 and at that moment I knew the beat was special and I, I don't, don't know what, I really don't know what, what it was. I wish I knew. <laughs> so you didn't sell it exclusively then? No, no. Uh, for, for me it was like when, when three people overnight, like I, I never had that. When one beat exclusive, I'd rather keep it because it was, I just thought it was better and it played out to, to really be better. <laughs> So does three million views amount to a lot of sales on that beat? Yeah, three million views amount to a lot of sales. I think that that's my best-selling beat, and I don't know how much it made me in total. But I I have I know that beats just now have this uh, the option to check, but I I haven't checked it yet. But I think I should. Um, it's more at least five figures, if not more. Like not six figures, but in in the good five figure range it should be. Oh damn! Okay. So, uh, how do you how do you pick your keywords when you're titling and tagging your videos? I usually uh, always use two rappers, if if not three. Like uh, I make the beat, and then I think like, okay, it's it's emotional but kind of dark, so it's more like a six black tag beat or uh, or the, uh, sorry black tag beat um, or six six tentation. Uh, and and then I I just used those two rappers and every option like uh, x x type beat type beat x x x free x x and just everything. Uh, but what's also cool is uh, if people have, I think it's called a vid IQ, uh, you, you can just check which keyword do well, which keyword do bad, uh, and, and that's also something that I do. Okay, so you use vid IQ for that? Yeah. Uh, how do you encourage people who watch your videos to subscribe? Because you are at the point where you have now over 100,000 subscribers, which seems to kind of be a magic number for sustainability. What are some ways that you, you know, people watch videos all the time, but they don't always subscribe. What do you, how do you, how do you turn viewers into subscribers? In the, in the beginning, uh, I, I used to have like, um, in, in After Effects, you can, you can make a little thing that is jumps in, please uh, subscribe to the channel and, and just, just um, ask the people. Uh, uh, I, I, I used, used to write it in the comments. And other than that, I just, uh, nothing. Uh, for me, I think, uh, if the people really like the video, 
uh, or, or the beat in, uh, in, the, in this place, they, they will they will just subscribe to you. So you've noticed it's just a it's a quality thing. As your quality of of production got better, your yeah. engagement, your sales, and your subscribers uh, also improved. Yeah, definitely. When when I started to improve my mixes, when I started to just have better beats, uh, because in the beginning, like they they were horrible. I uh, um. I just had melodies and melodies and melodies, and there was no space for, for the rappers and everything. Yeah. Okay, so that's an interesting conversation. How did you know that your beats weren't as good as they could be, and how did you know what you needed to change to make them better? Uh, once uh, I, I have received um, a comment on one of my beats, and, and the rapper was like, he liked where the beat was going, but it's just too full. And back then I didn't understand this. How is it to fall? The beat sounds cool. And then I had a conversation with him. He, he just said, there's no space for me. And, and back then I didn't understand what I mean. Uh, then I, um, I, I just went to the to, to my favorite beats that I really like from the rappers. Um, and, and I checked them out and, and it, I just, uh, I, I had a notebook and I just took 20 beats and I, like analyzed them what did they use, what, what instruments and everything. And I just came to the conclusion that the most popular beats are just really simple. If you'd like, for example, take um, the beat uh, j just a little bit from 50, uh, from 50 Cent, it has like the, the melody uh, in the beginning, it's a kick and a snare. And, and, and anyway, it's, it's everything and it's still a hit. Then he added, adds some things, but it still keeps it simple. And that's, that's when I was like, okay. But then I tried different things like, because, um, um, I'll upload a beat every day. I have the chance to try out things like, okay, let's make it like that today. Let's make it like that. And when I didn't have a lot of subscribers, I was doing that. And then when the first beats really started to catch, like the the little peep type beat, uh, Reborn, and the, the one from Russ, I think you mean was Roses. When when, when they re really uh, caught the attention of the people, and I started to go the numbers up, I was like, okay, that's what I need to do, and that's what I really. Like it's like my formula, formula right now. That's another good question that the producers ask, which is what style of beat should I make? But with you, it's it's pretty obvious. It's the style that people respond to, and and people will leave comments. And even if they don't leave comments, if a, if a certain video is doing well, better than others, then clearly there's something special about that track. Yeah. So it looks like you've been using BeatStars this whole time because your oldest YouTube video has a BeatStars link in the in the <clears throat> description. Is that true? Yeah. I started, I started with, with, with BeatStars from day one. Okay. So it looks as though you're almost at a million plays on your BeatStars site. What's making you stick with BeatStars as your uh, primary licensing platform? There, there are a lot of things where we'll, we'll, uh, we'll stay. I, I, well, I'm staying in where I will stay with BeatStars. First of all, the, the support is amazing. Even in the beginning, when I had no no place, no nothing, when I had a question, it was always answered within 24 hours. If 24 hours, this was sometimes I, I send a mail and I got it right back. Um, also, like um, yesterday, Ape had a, a Instagram story where, where he was he was asked where, where does he see so business in five years, and he said like very big, and you, you see that that he has a vision and. Um, BeatStars is growing, it has constant updates, the, the pro page is amazing, I, I, like I, I don't have to, to take care of, of making my own website. Um, and yeah, even when uh, in, the, in December the, 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 there was the crash or, or the hack, even then he, he made a video, he, he explained the situations, he just said the way everything he is, he, 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 um, he saw the emotions he had with the site and like that's, 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 that's everything for me. That's why I, I, like, I will stay with BeatStars. Yeah, that was a that was a crazy time, and then the whole community just bounced back, and I think hit hit or broke some sales records right after that. Yeah. yeah. Back back to my uh, personal Tundra Beat story. You were on one of uh, me and Kato's Beat Club sessions almost a year ago. Yeah. And Mike Trampy, who's from Beat Stars and who I've known for I don't want to say how long, a long time, over mm -hmm. a decade. Uh, he was my guest, and he helped create. A Facebook and Instagram uh, advertising campaign and he said he'd create it for one of our members and just by chance um, we picked you and he created a, a from scratch a step-by-step -step campaign 
advertising your beats through your account on on Facebook and Instagram. How, did you find success with those advertisements? Yeah, uh, totally. Uh, still running ads like that. Like I, um, I make a lot of ex experiments, especially uh, since last month. Like trying a lot, a lot of uh, new, new stuff and all the split tests, everything that he, he taught there, and I had a lot of success with it. Like I'm very, I'm very thankful that I was chosen, um, and I was running with it since then. Yeah, he told me that that, that you've reached back out to him and and um, asked him, you know, how to optimize the ads and and how to improve them, and you you've kind of gone back and forth. Um, you know, I don't want everyone to flood Mike Trampy, but he does work for BeatStars, <laughs> so <laughs> he's pretty responsive uh, when it comes to those kinds of questions, right? Yeah, uh, Mike uh, responded. Uh, very great to me when I had a question. It was very very fast. He explained he explained everything. Um, so I'm, I'm also very thankful to, to him. We, me and him, we, we also go uh, back back and forth sometimes. If you have some questions, if I have some questions, very very, very, very nice man. What, so what are some some tips that you have learned from uh, running these ads over the last year? One one of the the biggest tips for for the people is like you have to try a lot. Like like there there's no one formula. That will work. Like I had one. I, I, I was thinking it's amazing. It's it it, um, it brings me income. It, 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 it um, like I don't lose money from the ad. Then I tried new things and it made it even better. It's like uh, you just have to try and try and try. Don't uh, in the beginning like set a budget for ten like ten days, ten dollars, and then just just try things out. If this works, if, if like make five different ads, see what works the best. Like with Facebook, you can do uh, split ads and just. Test, uh, test it out, and they, they will show you comparisons, like all, all the graphs, like um, and just just try out a lot. Don't don't spend too much money on it though, like especially in the beginning and later you can increase it. But uh, uh, the mark, uh, if there, are, there are not so many people that you should, should have to spend like five thousand dollars a month or something like that. Keep it simple, like two hundred, maybe three hundred dollars a month, and just try. Yeah, I think I think two hundred to three hundred. I mean, I know people who producers who spend up to maybe a thousand or so a month, and th those producers are making I think six figures a year off of beat licenses. Um, some some more. I mean, I know guys that spend thirty thousand and they're making up to almost seven figures a year. But I know one of Mike Trampy's biggest tips for people for producers for anybody advertising using the facebook ads or instagram ads platform is always set your budget low don't just spend a hundred dollars right away don't spend three hundred dollars right away i see a lot of producers doing that and getting frustrated but you you stuck with it i'm sure there were some frustrating moments yeah, of right course. like you had, you had an ad and you thought you have it all perfect and it's, it's like it, it will work and then it just don't work and you get no engagement no no, no traffic no nothing then you, you think like what have i done wrong and then but it's it's also fun because you, you learn a lot of things with that, and you do some research, and you, you look at that, and so for me it's fun. I, I like doing it. The hard part for me is I'll find an ad that works, and then I'll duplicate it and add new beats that I think okay, these are the beats that people want to hear, and then it gets no engagement, <laughs> no conversions, and I have to just delete the whole thing. And yeah, yeah. The Ugh. That's horrible. Um, yeah. <laughs> so hypothetically, if you had to start from zero subscribers, zero plays, and upload your first beat mm -hmm. tomorrow, what would be the most important tool to build your beat selling business up to where it is now? First of all, be really in, in connection with the people. If someone comments on your video, comment back, reach out to them, like reach out to, to other people, go to rappers, uh, make a lot of and make good beats and a lot, a lot of uh, like a lot uh, as much as you can so because the youtube is very uh how's it word exaggerated like it's very very, very full uh and if you re really w want to stick out you have to make m more than the, the other the, uh, the, the other producers so especially um like you when you have 1000 subscribers used to be a lot now 1000 subscribers i don't think it's so much but on the other hand it's like I think it's a little bit easier, not, not easier, but you have uh, a lot of chances because so many rappers are searching for beats and you can really reach out to, to other producers and like not make a group, but just work, just work together and collaborate a lot. And, and I think 
and and also what, what I would suggest everyone don't don't expect anything for one like at, at least one year just don't, just do it and don't expect anything back so how do people find your beats What's uh, my website, website is tundrabeats.com uh the, the, the same uh, on, on all my social medias and youtube there are, are all my beats well, once again man, i appreciate you sitting down and, and uh, having an honest conversation about your journey you know and sharing your tips and, and what you've learned over the last couple of years man, it's an honor I've, I've been watching these videos when i started out um and i was taking notes and i'm very glad if i can help some something someone and if someone has any questions reach, reach out to me on instagram i will try to answer them as soon as i can cool man thanks again man much continued success i'll have to schedule you on, on beat club and and um send you some collab ideas i appreciate that a lot yeah uh, yeah uh, this, this. i'm i'm abusing my power here as the interviewer <laughs>